Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, let's continue with our MATLAB exploration. So today we will discuss about another example. Uh, we will solve this example. While solving this example, uh, we will see some kind of concepts like how to generate random numbers in MATLAB and how to use for loops and how to use if else statements and we'll see some more topics like how to find the execution time and all so come back to the example the question is first generate 10 random variables from random values from 1 to 5 and count number of threes in it we will generate 10 random values which ranges from 1 to 5 and we will count how many 3's are in this so we display wow if the number of 3's are more than 20 percent and we will do these two parts again using a for loop previously we use like if else statement or somewhere else so uh, something else so then we do the same thing using a for loop and then this 10 random value values we will extend the 10 random values to uh, 10 million random numbers and then we had have to decide out of these two method which method is faster so i will open my matlab window so uh, i will take some new script uh, need to save it first for running okay while running we can save uh, that's not an issue so what are the first three statements uh, so you can go to my previous videos uh, so that you can get the basic knowledge of laptop uh, of MATLAB so the first three uh, statements of any script should be uh, make it an habit it's not like it's a rule i'm just telling you to make it an habit clc it clears the command window and clear where's it clears the variable and close all it closes all figures or plots now So whatever uh, operating systems you are using whether it is Windows, Linux, whatever the MATLAB ID is almost similar. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, now I am generating random values. So for that I am using an inbuilt function rand i. See <laughs> this is rand i. Uh, there is a um, Rand I, uh, it don't sp uh, sp spell it in another way. It has very good meaning, a respective way of calling a person in Telugu and a very disrespectful way of calling a person in Hindi. So don't go there. Be in English only. So it is Rand I, random integer. So it generates random integer. So So how to know about these functions? So arguments, I'm going to take the help, the help command you know. Now it gives about all the information about this rand i function. So it gives random integers uh, from a uniform discrete distribution and uh, this is i max value and this m by n returns an m cross n matrix so rand of 5 or this rand of 5 so it generates um, control enter is the shortcut for run I am saving the script so it generates see a random value with maximum value it generates 5 now if i want to run it again 
what will happen Mm. run it again now it generates 4 hmm? I run it again it run it generate 1 so uh, it generates a random random value random integer value from a uniform discrete distribution whose maximum value is 5 now I want to generate a matrix so let me generate a matrix 1 cross 10 matrix uh, so control enter C C it generates 10 random values whose maximum value is 5 if I run it again see the values are changed if I run it again the values have changed now what's our question is question is to display wow if more than 20% of the random numbers are 3 so how many more than two so if it is more than three so now I am introducing an if else statement here so how I can check I introduced logic previously so I introduce logic so let me say a equal to equal to 3 so what it gives it gives how many values are equal to 3 so how many values are equal to 3 I am running it see only one value two values are equal to 3 I am again running it see again two values are equal to 3 again running it only two only one this time only three this time okay now I want to calculate how many so I can write like like this also sum of a equal to equal to three so see how many two two threes are there see you can observe again the values are changed two c are there now now i can write it as like if 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 else statement i am introducing if with condition I have, I gave a beautiful example for if else statement in my one of the previous video uh, you can go through that to get more insight of if else statement a equal to equal to 3 is greater than equal to 3 then you can suppress the output by using a semicolon I am not suppressing because I want to show you the random generation I want to show you this random generation so I want to display I want to display wow a character single quotes are characters and double quotes are and double quotes are strings and always if should uh, end with end shift tab will go back side tab will go front side so now i am entering control enter c only one three generated this time well two threes one three four threes so now it came wow now we will see the same mentality of function of uh, program using for loop now I am introducing now how to break a section and why section is needed so the benefit of this is each section uh, let me write first section so single percentage is for comma and double percentage is for section a line will come hmm? section let's write section 2 so and then 
I will comment it as Y. So see, so double percentage. I will comment for loop using for. So what is the benefit of the section? Section is we can uh, execute these separately within the same script. So when uh, we are here, so this will be highlighted and this will get run. And if we are here, this will be highlighted and this will run. Okay, uh, there is a run to end run section. A run will run all sections. This run section will run only one section. Okay. Now, again, same three. I just want to copy these three. Okay, control V. And we are in this control enter will run this section only now. So, this run will run entire script. So, coming to for loops, uh, for loops are more advanced programming techniques and can be very challenging for the beginners. Try to concentrate, you will learn. If you have knowledge of C, Java, something, you already know about for loops. So, these are useful uh, when we need to do same thing over and over again. So, we do a for loop for a specified number of iterations and it stops after that iterations are over and the rest of the code will continue to run. So let's try to demonstrate it for i equal to 1 colon 10. That means it start i i is called a placeholder value placeholder value so it generates i and so i keep i i am not uh, what i say i am not uh, not suppressing output so i will be shown in my command window and then for also should be uh, shift tab i go back and for also should end so control enter so see so for i equal to 1 to 10 it generates i again and again and again 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 okay so this is for loop and what will happen if i give only 1 is to 10 what will happen it generates a vector here vector so here each iteration each element is generated in i so what is the loop iteration in each loop iteration the i value increments from the starting value to this end value now you can increment it by step of 2 also uh, now i am uh, see now it started with 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 the default is plus 1 integer so this is for while uh, while loop we will see later uh, this is for loop and now coming back to our problem see for loop is very useful for going through numbers and matrix we can use this i as index so we can go through a matrix or uh, we can call a of uh, suppose a of 1 a of 5 we can go through and then uh, check each of the components. So let me write the same again. Uh, I can write not only i, we can use any variable also here. So let me write counter, counter, and control enter, see counter value increase. So I will. Right, same again. Uh, let's see what will happen. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Control. 
so I generated a random matrix of maximum value 5 so now mm, for i equal to um, 1 to let me take length length of a that is maximum dimension length gives maximum dimension i told it in the previous video height gives number of rows uh, width gives number of columns and length gives maximum dimension so length of a I'm using my if statement here if a of i a of i equal to equal to 3 then um, uh, increasing a variable I'm taking a variable name 3 and um, name 3 plus 1 and I keep I need to end the if and then I end it for also so let me end this See there is an error. Why this error? Okay, num3. Num3 we haven't initialized. So let me initialize the num3 here. Num3 equal to zero. So control enter. So num3 equal to zero. Now num3 equal to one. Why one? So only one three is there in this array. Um, again generating oh, what happened again generating see now num3 equal to 2 see num3 increasing so every time it is displaying if I don't want that hmm, I can use a display function here if I don't want that I can use a display num3 here uh, I'm suppressing that and in the final it will display so I don't want to display this also then what it will happen control V see this num3 increasing so it is displaying so how many threes are there one two three getting so what is my second I should display wow if these number of threes are greater than or equal to if num3 is greater than or equal to 3 I should display I'm taking a character or string anything is ok let me take string this time uh, wow and shift tab shift tab and control enter see wow so there are num num three of three is more than are equal to three so now it's wow see now there is no wow because only two threes are generated this in this time so for loop is little complicated uh, but we also did it using the if else so we already know the answer so if you have some problem if you know the answer then try to do it using for loop so that you will get more clarity so now the final part of the problem is we did it with for loop and without for loop now we want to extend it for 10 million random numbers and which method is faster 
now we need to know which method is faster so for that we use tiktok so now i am removing this section i will run the entire code once and will see i'm removing this section the line has gone now the line has gone now and let me by comment it as if else if else and this is as for loop now i cannot use now i take these two as two different variables um, so this i will assign this to num 3 underscore if equal to this i keep here as if num 3 if greater yeah, than then we display wow here yeah. and for loop i take length of a this i will check as num 3 for for here also i will change it as num3 underscore for num3 underscore for here i don't need to display thing here let's remove this don't need to display this then display wow now what it will happen let's run once unrecognized variable num3 where i left num3 num3 in line 21 okay this is num3 for okay control enter so ye came so sorry sir so control enter it's changing wow so now number of this increasing so then only it is displaying wow okay okay here i used again clc so it's not showing the outputs of for loop and both okay control enter so see num if equal to 2 here num for i'm suppressing the output otherwise it shows num for also it's 3 it's 1 it's 1 2 3 wow it's generate a random where another random matrix another random matrix hmm? now i can generate a single random matrix no need to generate it again so let me delete this and see so same random matrix num if equal to 2 and num for equal to 2 so num if equal to 2 num for equal to 2 and Okay. Num if equal to four. Wow. Num for equal to four. Wow. So now to know the execution. Now I need to make it as how many? Ah, uh, ten million. Ten million means one. Okay. Ten million. How many zeros will be there for ten million? <laughs> okay. I hope ten million has seven zeros. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now let's enter. Control enter. Wow, wow, wow! It's generating ten million. So <laughs> it's better to suppress the output. Okay, let it generate. Let it generate. Let it generate. 
So how many now? 60, 70 lakhs, 74 lakhs. Wow, 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 wow. That's great, that's great. Let it generate, let it generate. Wow, it's now looping this. NumF is already over. NumFur is going on. Now, now it's not equal to 3 now. Everything is greater than 3 now. So I can. Um, if NumFur. Oh, see, see, my sounding is increased. Uh, so to break this infinite loop, uh, I can use Control C to stop forcefully. So remember this. Sometimes your MATLAB will go to infinite loop, and it uses all your processing power. Then con use Control C for uh, forcefully stopping the execution. Okay. So this is now greater than three is not twenty percent. And uh, now I take it as point two into uh, length of a length of a. Uh, I'm suppressing this. I don't want to display this anymore. Okay. And here also, here also, it's greater than 0.2 uh, into length of A. Now control enter. Yes, I can suppress this also. I think. I will let it generate. Stopping this and suppressing this also. See, directly I am suppressing all the outputs. So my numif is this. And what about numfer? Okay, numfer we haven't displayed. Let me display it after this. This num3 per okay control enter what is something wrong okay control enter hey 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 it's displaying for every loop okay then control c i am displaying it here control X you can display after this for loop control enter then C this is an MF equal this this is a num for num for I display uh, you can write one more thing like now now I will try Okay, we got both are same num3 if and num3 for now I'm going to tell you how to calculate this execution time execution time is given by two things called tick and talk so whenever wherever we require the uh, start the simulation and then there you need to give take and to end wherever you want to end you give talk okay so in the similar way here you give take and at the end you give talk so the talk See the elapsed time is 0 0.01 and 0 0.53. If I want to, uh, I can take some variable also. That is time underscore for equal to take. 
and here not equal to take equal to talk and time underscore if equal to talk here time underscore if equal to talk okay control enter so time underscore if is 0 0.117 and 0 0.557 so for loop is taking five times more than this if now it is both are below second doesn't matter but if it is a huge execution time then for one day of first one uh, the second method is taking five days the similar way if it is one hour it is taking five hours so there the your optimization skills come into the picture so in the first method it using vectorization so it converts everything into vector and then uh, it's applying conditions on the vector but in second method it is checking each and every element so it is easy to observe but it's taking more execution time to try to learn optimization and vectorization i'm just introducing tick and talk here i'm not uh, because it, it this is a beginner's guide you need lot of years of practice for this optimization and all learn about basic things and try to develop programs on by your own and all i'm stopping this video here uh, thanks for watching the video uh, please share with your friends who re whoever requires the matlab subscribe to my channel uh, and press the bell icon to get uh, videos into your uh, whenever i upload uh, like the video